Here's a quick tip for you this morning. I've just published a new arrangement called Le Bersou. It's by Gabrielle Faré. It's kind of a somber piece with a lot of soft playing in it, although it does get quite uh, loud and, and dynamic in the middle. At the end, though, there's kind of a problem. Uh, we're diminuendoing, the piece is winding down. The very last two notes that we play are ellipsler, from concert F down to concert B flat. That's a written G down to a written C in treble clef. Because both notes are played open, uh, you may find the lips are a little troublesome as you're trying to get softer and softer, especially if your chops are a little bit tight by the end of the piece. <laughs> wasn't too hard sitting here in my practice room, uh, starting fresh, a couple notes ahead of that, um, not much of a problem. However, in real life, when you're actually performing the piece, it can be more of a problem. So I like to have an option ready when my chops don't feel quite so flexible. You could play the second last note, the F or written G in treble, with fourth valve or one and three, instead of playing it open. And then instead of a lip slur down to a B flat, which might fail, it might not speak uh, smoothly. You might have an open hole there instead of the note coming out right away. You can use a natural slur between two different fingerings. There's another fingering option, which I don't like quite as well, but on some horns it might work better. And that is to use one and four on a compensating horn for the low B flat. It's not a natural fingering for that note. It is an alternate and it's a little bit flat on this horn. Might not be so much on yours, so it's something you could try. The other option is to do a half valve movement, something like that as you're doing the slur. That helps to smooth out. Now we're not trying to do a gliss, but rather just a subtle effect to smooth the slur. If you go to my new YouTube video of this piece, you'll find links in the YouTube description to download the solo part for free. You can also buy the arrangement from Cimarron Music, it's available now. But to practice the solo part by yourself, you can freely download it and work away at it. You can compare the recording of my interpretation to what you do. You can, you can use the recording with my interpretation as a starting point, and then find your own way to express yourself in this music. There's a lot of room for expression. Uh, there's a poem that goes with this, and that's also in the YouTube description. So you can get the meaning of this piece and, and see what you can put into it, uh, different from what I did. It's a good practice experience, and as I mentioned, the solo part is free. So have a good time with that. Thanks for listening.